Welcome to our Minnesota First Lego League Challenge Coaches Training Series. Today we'll be diving into Team Resources for Minnesota FLL Challenge Teams. My name is Vicki Cody and I'm with High Tech Kids. I'd like to start by explaining who the major players of First Lego League Challenge are. First is the national nonprofit located in Manchester. Uh, they partner with LEGO Education to develop the first LEGO League robot game, the team guides, the rules, and the rubrics. Additionally, LEGO develops the EV3 and Spike Prime robots and their software, and clearly anything else LEGO. <laughs> to bring these programs to the masses, FIRST also partners with groups around the world to manage these programs locally. High Tech Kids is that group in Minnesota. We are the program delivery partner for First LEGO League Challenge. We also manage First Lego League Explore and First Tech Challenge. High Tech Kids is here to answer all of your local questions about events, event registration, training, scholarships, and volunteering. I'd like to point out some key resources we have available to you on our website. Our website received a little facelift this summer when we took on a new coding program called Coder Z. The site continues to be color coded. And for FLL, as you dive into the site, the color bars should be red. As you can see, each color denotes a program or a theme. The first menu item on the First LEGO League Challenge pages I would like to talk about is the 2020 Replay Challenge button. It's the third button down on the right. We have added this top level item here to make it easier for you to find all your yearly challenge information. On this page, you'll find everything relating to this season's challenge, the game videos, the challenge documents, mission model building instructions, the robot game Q&A. Um, you will also be able to find the new official rubrics for your judging. Um, those can be downloaded, shared with your team. Also, the judging change information from FIRST is here, as well as all the national and local awards that we give out. Next, I'd like to point out the team resource section. There's a lot of information on this page, and I really encourage you to poke around um, and really see what's here. Um, on the top, we have some information about our Minnesota Revo remote event plan, um, as well as some COVID-19 resources. Um, if you're having some issues on how to meet as a team, I really encourage you to, to look at those COVID resources to get some ideas. Um, the second section down in the gray bar is entitled Required Forms and Surveys. Um, this is where you're going to find the forms you need to actually participate in a Minnesota event. Specifically, um, the High Tech Kids Demographic Survey, which is required, along with the paper version of the first consent and release form. Um, so new this year, um, and you veteran coaches will be happy about this, the demographic survey may be submitted online. Um, we're also working on a ways to submit the consent forms um, at this location as well. Um, the last section I want to talk about is the practice table options. Um, because this year it will be really beneficial for teams to have some sort of practice table that will look and feel like a regulation table. Um, in this section you'll find do-it-yourself options as well as options to purchase a manufactured table. Please note that we have not seen either manufacturer table in person, nor are we financially compensated by either company. Um, I just want you to know that the, the resources are there. Training and workshops. So this is where you're going to find all of our training information. Um, currently, we are offering coaches training, coaches calls, and research workshops. All of these training options will be remote options. Um, this year, our coaches training webinar um, will focus on the season challenge. Um, I highly re recommend that all coaches, veterans and rookies, attend or watch this recorded webinar every year. Um, and new this year, we're very excited, we are implementing coach calls. So right now we have two scheduled. Um, each call will have a topic, um, however, Please come with your questions. We anticipate these calls will be very free form and we want to help you as you move through the season. Um, so we're happy to take off topic questions. Uh, our research workshops are not yet finalized. However, we hope to have something for you in November 
So watch for information via email or social media on that. So our tournament page, our tournaments are all up and online. Um, and as you know, we will be holding all remote events. Um, so due to our low enrollment though, we have made the decision to eliminate the sectional section of our, um, our competitions this season. So teams will register for one regional tournament and advancement will be from those regionals directly to the state championship. Um, also because our events will be remote, we have reduced our regional fee to $75. Um, please note that we have not yet determined what our state championship fees will be, but we hope to get those squared away in the next month or two. So email is our main form of communication. We don't send anything out via snail mail. Um, so please be sure to subscribe to this season's coaches newsletter. Um, we also push a lot of information out via social media. So also I encourage you to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. So High Tech Kids is a Minnesota nonprofit. We were formed in 1999 after participating in the 1998 FLL pilot year. Our mission is to bring fun STEM programs to kids in Minnesota. This year, we also partnered with Coder Z and Intellitech on a completely virtual robotics program. We are not employees of FIRST or LEGO and do not receive funds from them to run the programs here in Minnesota. We are more than happy to help you out as you navigate FIRST LEGO League Challenge. Please feel free to call or email us. For FLL Challenge specific questions, please contact Jeannie or Vicki at hightechkids.org. Thank you and good luck this season.